everyone, how are you? Today is going to be a what's in my carry-on bag video. I was out of town last week for Thanksgiving and I just still haven't unpacked my bag yet, so I thought I would go through it together with you and show you what I carry along with me when I travel. So if you notice that I'm sitting a little further back, that's just so I can get the whole bag in the shot because it's gigantic. It's the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM Tote, which I'm sure you've seen before. It's a pretty popular bag, like one of their best sellers, and it is huge. It never gets full. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so corny, but this is really a great bag. I love it. It's very, very durable. It's just convenient. It's comfortable to hold and, you know, it's stylish, so I like it. The interior of the bag comes in a couple of different colors, but I have this one in, it's like a pink fuchsia, which I think it might be seasonal. I'm not sure. And it also comes with this handy little wristlet inside, which attaches inside the bag as well as just detachable. You can bring it out with you when you're on the go. So I love bringing this when I'm traveling because then this is just like my go-to nighttime bag and I don't have to pack any extra purses. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, it's pretty filled up, but it actually has a lot more room. I guess I'm a pretty light traveler, relatively speaking, because I usually pack a lot in my check baggage and then don't have to take as much on the carry-on. But the first thing I have here is the Evolution Pillow. I think I actually bought this in the airport. And it's just one of those like memory foam type neck pillows because I'm just never comfortable on the plane. They don't give you any pillows or blankets anymore like they did in the old days. But that just goes there on your neck. So if you want to like conk out for a little bit, you have some neck support and it's just really comfortable. I also have this eye pillow from Victoria's Secret if I feel like going to sleep. Sorry for the glare. It's just in this little plastic package. I always, always, always bring a scarf on the plane because I'm just always cold <laughs> but this one is just a huge white like I think it's like a silk and wool blend gigantic scarf I think my dad got this for me in India actually but I love this keeps me warm it has a really pretty pattern I don't know if you can see but there's this slight floral looking pattern to it unless I'm sleeping I'm the type of person on the plane that needs to be entertained like at all times I cannot just sit there I'll go crazy so I always bring reading material and other entertainment this is an Allure magazine it's a really old issue but I think I just never got through it so I brought it along with me on the plane July 2014 I think it's time to throw this one out I also brought my Kindle but I didn't actually end up using it this trip I brought along my iPad mini, which I definitely used. I always download movies. I think I watched, on the way there, I think I watched the movie, was it called What If? It was with Daniel Radcliffe. And on the way back, I watched If I Stay, which was really cute. It was about like this girl who played the cello, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but it was more or less like a drama romance type. And then I also have my earbuds, because you can't really watch a movie without those. <laughs> I brought along my vlogging camera. I started to vlog when I first got there, but the footage just really wasn't worthy of uploading, so I'm not going to post it. But I have the Canon Zoom Lens 20XIS, 20X Optical Zoom, and I think this is a really great camera. I got this a few months ago, and it does have a pretty good pop out lens there. It has a really great autofocus which is definitely like something I would suggest looking for if you're trying to find a vlogging camera because it just makes filming a lot easier. I have my wallet for my ID or in this case a card holder and this is by Chanel. It's in the caviar leather. It's really really durable so I don't have to worry about it like getting all scratched and stuff. That's the same thing with this bag. It just has that like coated leather. It's tough so I like this kind of material for traveling. I brought two pairs of glasses with me because I was in Texas so it was sunny. The first one are these Celine's which I showed you in my last video. They were um, one of my favorites. So I got these and then I also have a pair of Tom Ford's which my dad got for me this summer for my birthday. So I will show you those real quick. These are a totally different style. I feel like these are more casual, like strolling about the day. So that's those. I brought some hand lotion because my skin has been really dry lately. This is the Savannah Bee Honey Body Lotion and it's in the scent Orange Blossom, which I think is delicious. I got this from Whole Foods. And then lastly, I'm just going to go through the contents of this little wristlet, which is mostly makeup. So I have my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, which is just my translucent powder for touch-up. I think I have an e.l.f. brush in here. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. 
Elf brushes, by the way, I don't know if you tried them, they're like two to three dollars a piece and I think they're great. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money on brushes, I would definitely recommend them. A couple of lip products, I have my Alba Chapstick, which is really moisturizing, and then my current favorite lipstick, which is this Tom Ford in Spanish Pink. Now, I know this color comes up really coral-like on a lot of people, but for me, it's kind of like a nude. Um, I guess it's just the color of my lips, but it goes really nicely with it. And it's very opaque, which I love. Of course, I don't have it on today. I think today I did the Naked Urban Decay Naked Lip Liner and MAC Hue. And then, what else? I have two more things. A little sample perfume to freshen up. This is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume, which I actually am not crazy about. It's a little, it's a little strong, but um, I just like to bring samples along with me because I have tons of them. I want to use them up and I don't feel like lugging around a big bottle. And lastly, I have this Makeup Forever black eyeliner just for touch-ups and like the waterline. This is a really good liner, guys. It stays put all day, doesn't smudge. Makeup Forever is just a beautiful line. I think that's everything. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Like maybe I pulled a few things out before this video, but I don't remember. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Till then, bye.